Thank you. Please stand for the national anthem. <laughs> You may be seated. Welcome to this momentous occasion, graduates, and thank you to the guests that have joined us this evening. I am Sandra Walker, the Dean for Technical Studies, and I am honored to congratulate the class of 2019 on behalf of the faculty and staff of Central Ohio Technical College. Tonight, we are here to celebrate you. Graduates, you have much to be proud of. I encourage you to share the joy you are feeling today and extend it to others. You entered these buildings as students and will leave as alumni, confident and ready for your next steps, and that is a tremendous achievement. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Please join me as we welcome the president of Central Ohio Technical College, Dr. John M. Berry. Thank you, Dean Walker. Good evening. The faculty, candidates, and guests of Central Ohio Technical College are assembled. I now proclaim the autumn 2019 commencement ceremony to be in session. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the members of the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees who are with us this evening. Trustees are appointed by the governor of the state of Ohio and by local school boards. As I call your name, please remain standing for recognition. Robert A. Montagnes, Chair. Stephen A. Cohen, Vice Chair. J. Andrew Crawford. J. Park Shea III. Marion M. Sutton. And Mr. Paul M. Thompson. We also have members of the President's Cabinet on stage. As I call your name, please remain standing for recognition as well. Brian Bomer, Superintendent of Facilities and Support Services. Suzanne Bursu, Director of Marketing and Public Relations. Kim Manu, <laughs> Manu, sorry Kim, <laughs> Director of Advancement. Dr. Vicki Maple, Vice President for Economic Development and Workforce Solutions. Sarah Morrison, Dean of Enrollment Management. And Dr. Jacqueline Perrell, Vice President and Chief of Staff. Thank you all for being with us this evening. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Robert Montagnes, Chair of the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees, to offer comments on behalf of the board. Thank you, Dr. Berry. Good evening, graduates. It really is my pleasure to be here this evening, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we want to extend our sincere congratulations on this outstanding accomplishment. Earning a college degree is not only an outstanding achievement, but it's expensive, requires a lot of time, sacrifice, energy, time that's spent away from your families, your jobs. Many of you have had to endure a lot of challenges to arrive at this pivotal moment. And it gives us great pleasure to see the results of your hard work. I'm sure it gives your family, your friends that same pleasure. And they'll be even more excited as you walk across the stage this evening in just a few moments. Whether you decide to continue on with college or you start a new job or a career, I urge you to 
certainly stay connected with COTC, and to make sure that you participate in your community. Many of you know that I am uh, president of Lincoln Memorial Hospital. Our mission is to improve the health of the community, but there are so many of you that can help us meet that mission with your professions and your degrees. We have a tremendous, tremendous community, and now you can become an important part of that. So thank you for choosing COTC, and congratulations once again. Thank you, Mr. Montagnese. We do things a little bit differently here at Central Ohio Technical College when it comes to commencement addresses. Uh, oftentimes you may have seen where an official, a local official or someone of substance would come and, and address the group. We thought it was more important that you actually hear from your own, those individuals who are also graduating, graduating with you this evening. First, it is my pleasure to introduce our first commencement speaker tonight, who is Ms. Tiffany Addy. Tiffany will be receiving a one-year certificate in practical nursing. Tiffany, if you could come to stage, please. Good evening and welcome COTC faculty and staff, parents and friends, and class of 2019. It is an honor to be standing before all of you today. When I first started COTC four years ago, I was a divorced single mother and working in the ER of my hometown and struggling to know with what direction to go. I was nervous about taking the plunge back to school, being it had been 20 plus years since I had graduated. At that point in my life, all I knew how to do was to be a mother. But I knew it was time to lay a new foundation in my life, not only for myself, but for my son as well. It was time to grow and start a new journey for the both of us. I wanted to teach him that even though we sometimes fail, we must still keep pushing forward. There were no more excuses and no reason to look back. I wanted to teach him to lead and to never follow. I wanted him to know that success isn't determined by how many times you fall, but by how many times you get back up. I started taking the required prerequisite courses, and to my surprise, I was passing these classes with A's and making the president's list. My work seemed to be paying off, yet I still felt a lack of surety. Everything seemed to be coming together, yet as a parent, I felt I was failing as a mother. I knew it would be a challenge, and every day, I was tested with a new obstacle. My heart ached as I missed sporting events and school programs due to work and attending clinicals. Never had I thought I would have to choose between my son and furthering my education. Even though he seemed to understand, I seen the hurt in his eyes when I had to break to him the news that I wasn't able to attend an event that was so meaningful to him. After spending my evenings helping him with his schoolwork, my nights turned into early mornings, staying awake, studying for my own exams and my own assignments and all those treacherous select all that apply questions. I spent many nights crying, wondering if I was doing the right thing, wondering how it would all pan out in the end. I prayed that I was doing what was right for the both of us. One day I met this amazing man and he walked into, he walked into our lives at the most chaotic moment. Even though I had my doubts that he would stick around, he did the complete opposite. He became, he became not only my rock, but my husband as well. With that, not only was I blessed with a strong, encouraging man, but also three bonus children. Since then, we've expanded a little bit, and now we have not only the, between the, four, the four children between the both of us, we've also taken a role as adoptive parents and have since adopted two other children. Together, we have six children, four dogs, three cats, 14 pigs, 13 chickens, and two goats. Craziness, right? Some may ask, if I was so distraught, why add fuel to the fire? But in reality, it became a blessing in disguise. When I first set out on this journey, it was not only to learn for myself, but to be a valuable lesson for my son as well. I wanted to be a great role model and prove to him that no matter what the circumstance may be, always strive for success. Little did I know it would be a lesson for me as well. My husband and our children have taught me more than I ever anticipated. 
Not only do they bring me joy and happiness, but they, make me, they taught me patience and perseverance. They taught me that it was okay to cry as they wiped away my tears during moments of frustration. They motivated and inspired me to keep moving forward, that one day it would all pay off. They gave me the courage and strength and believed in me more than what I did in my own self at times. Just when I thought I was failing as a parent, I was reassured that somewhere at some point in time, I had done something right. Now here I stand as a double major graduate from COTC, and it has given me the confidence and faith to become a better person and a role model, not only for my children, but for my family and my community as well. In the past few years, I've learned some real and raw lessons. Children made me resilient, but they're also sponges that absorb their environment continuously and indiscriminately. They're some of the world's best teachers, and I am grateful and relieved to know the values I was hoping to instill in them during this journey they have since taught me. My husband and my children are my biggest fans, and I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for them. Thank you, guys. I am forever grateful. <laughs> Thank you. I am forever grateful for the sacrifices they made and the tremendous support as we did this journey together. From my story, what I'd like for you all to take with you is no matter what curveball life throws at you, stand tall and keep, move, keep pushing forward, keep moving. From the, from the Honorable Nelson Mandela, the greatest glory in living lies not never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Tiffany. I don't know what was more impressive, seven children or 14 pigs, but not bad at all. I appreciate that. Now it is also my pleasure to welcome your second commencement speaker of the evening. Again, this is a member of your graduating class. I would like to welcome Juliana Fetter to the stage. Juliana is receiving an Associates of Applied Science in Digital Media Design Technology. Juliana. Good evening, Autumn 2019 graduates. I would like to begin by saying that this incredible opportunity I have been given to share my story with each of you tonight is a blessing for which I will forever be grateful. Thank you to my professor, Kim Gowdy, for nominating and believing in me when I didn't even believe in myself. School was never something that came naturally to me. There were so many other things that I wanted to do, and it showed. In high school, procrastination was my favorite subject, and I did just enough to float through my classes. This continued over to my time here at COTC, where, again, I wasn't a perfect straight-A student. As I began my college journey, it was very similar to the time I had in high school. It was just much lonelier. All of my friends from school had traveled to other places or entered the workforce, and I found myself sitting in my car alone between classes and avoiding conversations when I was around other classmates. As I spiraled downward, I began to lose faith in myself. I believed that I wasn't smart enough to do this and that I was just wasting my time and everyone else's. Despite my love and admiration for digital media design, just as I was wondering when this was the end of the road for me, I made a friend in class. After opening up to her about my struggles, she introduced me to some friends of hers in the Warner game room. From then on out, I had a place, I had people, and I had begun to find my faith again. Still, classes weren't a cakewalk, but I found that drive to work and complete my degree. I soon found myself branching out, becoming healthier, and getting involved in so much more than I ever expected. I began taking advantage of the free tutoring on campus, going to the Writing Center for help with my papers, and utilizing the many office hours my professors made available. All this helped just by accessing the things COTC provides to its students. I was going to the game room regularly to play pool with friends, and I was even asked to assist with this incredible summer program called College Aspire, two years in a row, and I made more amazing friends from COTC's gateway. 
I went from always wanting to go home to feeling right at home and absolutely loving being on this campus. In my time here, I've seen the absolute beauty on this earth that is God's creation. I've gone from my lowest low after losing my grandpa, who is my best friend, January of last year, to my highest high after the birth of my beautiful nephew, Canaan, March of this year. I've experienced so much amazing love from my friends and family that I now realize just how small every one of my past worries really were. I would like to say thank you to the people in my life that pushed, encouraged, and believed in me, not only through my time here at COTC, but throughout my entire life. First, to my family, who have given me nothing short of the world. Through every obstacle, we've only grown closer and our love's grown stronger. I would have given up hope if it weren't for you, and I can never truly express just how thankful I am for every single one of you and everything you've done for me. I love you so much. Secondly, a huge thank you to my professors who helped me through the bad times and celebrated the good. I wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for your patience and assistance. Lastly, I would like to say thank you to COTC for helping me find myself and giving me the chance to see that the sky is the limit and providing me with whatever I needed to be successful. I would like all of you to take this time to think of those who pushed and encouraged you. Those who told you that you needed to pick yourself back up and get through the hard times. Remember what every all-nighter and early morning meant to you. Now give yourselves a round of applause because this moment wouldn't be possible if you didn't put the effort and time into creating your future. As you leave here today, always look back on these times and remember just how hard you worked to walk across this stage. Bottle up the happiness you're feeling and never let the world steal your smile. Congratulations, 2019 graduates. The future is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tiffany and Juliana, for sharing your experiences. It was quite an inspiration to all of us. And that's a very nice segue into what we're going to do next. Because before our diplomas are handed out, I want to briefly recognize a few of the caring and dedicated people who have supported all of our graduates on their journey. The faculty play a crucial role in bringing all of our graduates to this important milestone. Will all of the COTC faculty members please stand for recognition? Thank you. Another group of individuals who are important to all of our graduates are our college staff. Will all of our college staff please stand for recognition as well? Thank you. Now graduates, I want you to do me a favor, turn around, look at the audience, because this last group of individuals are those who are most important to you on a daily life. Will all the family and friends of our graduates please stand and be recognized? Thank you. As you heard from Tiffany and Juliana, the journey that you have undertaken could not be accomplished on your own. All of the individuals we just recognized play an important role into what you've been able to accomplish. But ladies and gentlemen, tonight is not about all of us, it is about you. And now I will turn this back over to Dr. Walker as we move into presentation of degrees. Well, we have a little more recognition first. Thank you, Dr. Berry. It is my pleasure this evening to recognize those students graduating with distinction. 
Students graduating with honors have earned an overall grade point average of 3.5 or higher out of a possible 4.0 scale. The names of students who have achieved this level of performance are identified in the commencement program. Also, Central Ohio Technical College honor graduates can be recognized by the gold tassels on their caps. Will all of our Central Ohio Technical College honor graduates please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Please be seated. Members of Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society of two-year colleges, have maintained at least a 3.25 grade point average and are involved in numerous service projects on campus and in the community. Phi Theta Kappa students are wearing gold stoles. Will all of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society graduates please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. We also have graduates that are members of the Alpha Delta Nu Nursing Honor Society, which recognizes the academic excellence of students in the study of associate degree nursing. Alpha Delta Nu students are wearing apricot cords. Will all of our Alpha Delta Nu Beta Chapter Nursing Honor Society graduates please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. The Elizabeth Barnhart Award for Nursing Excellence is presented to a graduating associate degree nursing student from the Newark campus who exemplifies the highest ideals of the nursing profession. Intelligence, commitment, sacrifice, integrity, and a compassionate connection to others. This year's recipient is Morgan Leanne Morgan. Please stand and be recognized. Congratulations, you may be seated. Lastly, it is my privilege to recognize those students who are graduating as veterans or current members of the United States military. Military veterans and active duty personnel are identified by red, white, and blue cords. We honor and appreciate you for serving our country. Please stand for recognition. Thank you for your service. You may be seated. As I call your degree or certificate, please rise. I will ask the audience members to please hold your applause until all of the candidates have been recognized. Will the candidate for the degree Associate of Applied Business in Accounting Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Business and Business Management Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Business and in Information Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science and Criminal Justice Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Digital Media Design Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Early Childhood Education Technology please stand? Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Emergency Medical Services Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Engineering Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Health Sciences Technology please stand? 
Will the candidate for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Human Services please stand? Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Law Enforcement Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidate for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Manufacturing Engineering Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Nursing Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Arts please stand? <laughs> you may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Science please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the Business Management Technology Human Resources One Year Certificate please stand? Will the candidate for the Business Management Technology Management One Year Certificate please stand? Okay. Will the candidates for the Business Management Technology Office Administration One Year Certificate please stand? Will the candidate for Culinary Science Technology Culinary Science One Year Certificate please stand? <laughs> please be seated. Will the candidates for the Emergency Medical Services Technology Paramedic One Year Certificate please stand? Okay. Will the candidates for Nursing Technology Practical Nursing Certificate please stand? You may be seated. Will all of the candidates please stand? <laughs> Stay put. Dr. Berry, I have the distinct honor to present and recommend on behalf of the faculty of Central Ohio Technical College these candidates who have completed all of the requirements for the Associate of Applied Business, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and One Year Certificates. Thank you, Dr. Walker. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees and the State of Ohio, I confer upon you the appropriate degrees and certificates with all the rights, privileges, and duties pertaining thereto. Congratulations, let's give these people one heck of a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. In recognition of the degrees and certificates just conferred, the diplomas will now be handed out. Tiffany Dawn Addy. Juliana Catherine Fetter. Adam Jerome Jordan. Rhonda J. Carter. Dorothy Marie Ellis. Woo! 
Rebecca L. Hanger. Katie Allison Hunter, with honors. Richard L. Knighton. Lauren Alexandria McFarling. Holden Hardy with honors. Amanda May Morris. Alana Gail Warner with honors. Anna M. Sprague with honors. Stephen James Williams with honors. Brittany Lee Croom Bassett. Joanna Gilman. Christopher Robert Mazenbacher, Jr. Samantha Anna Maria Thompson. Haley Christine Grunkemeyer with honors. Amy Michelle Neighbor with honors. Maria Esmeralda Villa. Brianna Jessica Zambori. Rachel Ann Jones. Clara Ann Bernthold. Jordan Tyler Jones. Jarek Ray Miracle. Hunter McKenzie Adkins. Edwina Benedicta Elom Atufe Amanyong. Jessica Rose Ball. Brianna Lynn Bartholomew. Z. Tyler Brandstool, with honors. Brooke Ann Campbell. Olivia Caitlin Campbell, with honors. Ashley Jean Campolo. Dawn Marie Colopy. Mark A. Cope. Katie Marie Edgel. Olivia Morgan Fenster. Lindsay Joe Gurdell. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Gillum. <laughs> Kristen Nicole Jennings. Kendall Ann Johnson.
Laura Nicole Kaplinski. Kaylee Marie Kendall with honors. Armand Collins Kenya. Autumn Caprice King. Nicholas Peter Lano. April Alice McPherson. Alexis Marie Mara. Cassie Joe McNulty. Erica Renee Montgomery. Morgan Leanne Morgan. Irene Kanini Matuku Bryan. Victorine Dematabin. <laughs> Cheyenne Tamara Ori. <laughs> Kaylee Marie Pinnell. <laughs> Hari M. Pudell. Rachel Marie Rice. Matthew Tyler Robison. Rebecca Ann Rose. Allison Noel Ross. Leticia Marie Sollett. <laughs> Michaela Nicole Lee Scarberry. <laughs> Fatmata Sila. Kayla Latisse Stuckey. <laughs> Teresa Frances Thali. <laughs> Raven Simone Thomas. Jessica Ryan Tittle. Amy D. Vansickle, with honors. Stephanie Michelle Vaughn. Cindy Lou Wall. Kimberly Danielle White. Samantha Lynn White. Ashley E. Young. Ashley Ray Berenger.
Kevin Chase Henthorne. Taylor Nicole Hiddle. Angelica Leonardiva Lubi Zoniva. Natasha Sams. Megan Brianna Thomas. Brittany Botang. Donna Maria Delapina with honors. Sean Michael Ferris. Sean Michael Ferris the second. Alexis Nicole Levings. Angela Dawn Wilkinson. Chelsea Diane Briggs. Sherika K. Carpenter Barkas. <laughs> Natasha Nicole Cochran with honors. Jaspreet Kaur Gill, with honors. Shanika Monet Hamilton. Jason Daniel Hill. Taylor Lee Joyce. <laughs> Talena Dawn Kelly. <laughs> Brittany Ann Kimmer. Doris Princess Luke. Caitlin May Miller. Esther Nelly Senze Teshu. Destiny Gail Tabor. <laughs> Olivia Ann Watts. Rachel Ann Whitaker. Will all of the graduates please rise? In keeping with academic tradition, you may now transfer your tassel from right to left. This is a visible symbol that you are now a graduate of Central Ohio Technical College. Let's give them a round of applause.
You may be seated. So ladies and gentlemen, I have both the honor, the privilege, and the duty to address you with final words of thought before you leave here this evening. And before I do that, I think it's important that I ask you a few questions. By show of hands, how many of you are first-generation college students, the first in your family to graduate from college? <laughs> By show of hands, how many of you have families that you care for in some way or another? <laughs> show of hands, how many of you worked while you were in school? <laughs> and lastly, a show of hands, how many of you overcame some adversity while you were a student here? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your perseverance, your grit, and your determination has not gone unnoticed. I'm going to leave you with just a little story, and I want you to pay attention to this because it will have some meaning to you. It's called, of all things, potatoes, eggs, and coffee beans. Let me explain what this means. So think about this. There was a time where a daughter was complaining to her father that her life was miserable and that she did not know what she was going to make of it. She was tired of fighting and struggling all the time. It seemed like there was just one problem to be solved after another. Her father, who was a chef, took her into the kitchen. He filled three pots with water and placed each one on high fire. Once the three pots began to boil, he placed potatoes in one pot eggs in the second pot, and ground coffee beans in the last. He then let them sit and boil without saying a word to his daughter. The daughter moaned and impatiently whined, wondering what he was doing. After 20 minutes, he turned off the burners. He took the potatoes out of the pot and placed them in a bowl. He pulled the boiled eggs out and placed them in a different bowl. He then ladled the coffee out and placed it in a cup. Turning to his daughter, he said, Daughter, what do you see? Potatoes, eggs, and coffee, she hastily replied. Look closer, he said, and touch the potatoes. He said and noted that they were soft. He then asked her to take the egg out and break it. After pulling off the shell, she observed that it was hard boiled. Finally, he asked her to sip the coffee. Its rich aroma brought a smile to her face. Father, what does this mean? He then explained that the potatoes, the eggs, and the coffee beans had each faced some adversity, and the same adversity at that, the boiling water. However, each one reacted differently. The potato went in strong, hard and unrelenting, but in boiling water, it became soft and weak. The egg was fragile, with the thin outer shell protecting the liquid and the interior until it began to boil in the water. Then the inside of the egg became hard. However, the coffee beans and the coffee itself was very unique. After they were exposed to the boiling water, they changed the water and created something new. Which are you, he asked his daughter. When adversity knocks on your door, how do you respond? Are you a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean? Ladies and gentlemen, in life, things happen around us, things happen to us. But the only thing that truly matters is what happens within us. Each of you have an exceptional cup of coffee to share with the world. It is who you are, it's what you've become. So tonight, I ask you to take a sip and savor that flavor with each and every one of your family members. But I want you to be prepared tomorrow to make more coffee wherever you go. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Friends and family members, this concludes the autumn 2019 commencement of Central Ohio Technical College. Please remain seated until the platform party and faculty have recessed and the graduates have exited the gymnasium. I now direct the recessional to begin. <laughs>
Thank you.